asylum seekers. It's not a problem for the United Kingdom only. It's all over the world. But the problem is when you run away from your country, you come to UK or you go to America, you can't go back to your country because you're not wanted again. And you're not wanted anywhere else, even in UK. And this is the problem which is asylum seekers are facing. They don't have accommodation. They don't allow uh, medical aid. They don't allow anything. They've got nothing. They're just in limbo. And there's no decision. Uh, it's like the home office all over the world. They're not making any decision. They cannot come up with an idea what, what to do with the asylum seekers. So maybe if they find a country which will accept the asylum seekers or an island where asylum seekers they can just go wherever they come from, whether they come from Africa, uh, France, or wherever they come from. They just put them there because that's where the country, they'll be happy and they'll be able to function, have accommodation, live like human beings. Because at the moment, um, at, from my point of view, it's like you're thinking because the, uh, Someone is controlling your life. You can't move. You can't decide anything. You're just waiting for a decision, and the decision is not going to come. It might never come. So this is the problem the asylum seekers are facing. So I don't know if anybody out there or all the countries can come together and buy a land or for us to go, because we need a place to stay like human beings and just such a function like human beings. Yes.